In today's video I'm going to be ranking all the battle packs from worst to best. For the first one it's the Senate Commandos Battle Pack which was released in 2015 for £12. It has the Captain, 3 regular troopers and a nice turret build. I think I'm going to put this one in A as it's a really solid battle pack and you can definitely build an army with this one. Although I do think an army of clones is probably better. Next it's the Endor Battle Pack which was released in 2012 for £12 and comes with 2 Rebel Troopers and 2 Imperial Troopers. I'm not really a big fan of the older designs for the Storm Trooper and the Scout Trooper, I think the newer ones look a lot better. The Rebel Troopers look alright, all of these figures could use some leg printing though as well. I think I'm just going to put this one in C tier because it's not that good of a set. The Jedi and Clone Troopers Battle Pack was released in 2017 for £13 and it comes with 2 Phase 1 Clone Troopers and 2 Jedis. I think the figures are really good and the Gunship style build is pretty good for army building. I think it's a pretty good set and it's definitely worth the price but I don't know if you would want 20 Kiali Mundi for an army so I think I'm going to put this one in B tier. The Assassin Droid Battle Pack was released in 2009 for £10 and it comes with 3 Silver Droids and 2 Black Droids. I think the Speeder is pretty good for army building as well. I don't know if anyone would want an army of Assassin Droids though. I think I'm going to put this one in C tier as there's so many other battle packs that are better than this one. The 501st Battle Pack was released in 2020 for £25 and comes with 4 clones, 2 Battle Droids, an ATRT and a Speeder. This is one of the most popular battle packs that have ever been made and it is a really good set. I think I'm going to put this one in A tier because it is more expensive than other battle packs. The Rebel Trooper Battle Pack was released in 2017 for £12. This definitely isn't the most exciting battle pack but the minifigures are good for what they are. I think I'm going to put this one in B tier just because it's not as good as the other battle packs. The Clone Trooper Battle Pack was released in 2012 for £12 and it comes with two Bomb Squad Troopers, a Horn Company Clone Trooper and an Aft Trooper. I think this is a really good battle pack and comes with some good clones so I think I'm going to put this one in A tier. The Resistance Trooper Battle Pack was released in 2016 for £12 and it comes with three Resistance Troopers, one Officer and a build for the Speeder. The figures are alright and the build is fine, it just isn't a really good battle pack compared to the others so I'm gonna have to put this one in C tier. The Clone Troopers vs Droidicas Battle Pack was released in 2013 for £12 and it comes with two clones and two Droidicas. The clones in this pack are fine, the torsos and helmets are nicely detailed but they could use some leg printing. This definitely isn't a good battle pack though because it only contains one regular clone. Next it's the Praetorian Guard Battle Pack which was released in 2019 for £13 and it comes with three Praetorian Guards and one Stormtrooper. The minifigures are really good but it's definitely not the best for building an army so I'm going to put this one in B tier. The Geonosis Troopers Battle Pack was released in 2015 for £12 and contains two regular Geonosis clones, two airborne troopers and a build for the walker. I think the clones in this set are really nice and you can definitely build an army with this. If it included one more regular trooper instead of one of the airborne troopers though it would have made this set even better. I do think this is one of the best battle packs ever made so I'm going to put this one in S tier. The Tatooine Battle Pack was released in 2018 for £13 and contains two Jawas, a Tusken Raider and a Droid. The minifigures are fine and the Droid is nice. It definitely makes a good addition to the Sandcrawler that was also available at the time. I don't think this is a very good Battle Pack though so I'm going to put this one in C tier. The Death Star Troopers Battle Pack was released in 2014 for £12 and contains two Royal Guards and two Imperial Gunners. The minifigures are good for what they are and the turret that comes with this set is fine. I don't think it's that good of a battle pack though so I'm just going to put this one in B tier. The Bounty Hunter Battle Pack was released in 2017 for £12 and it comes with Bosk, Dengar, IG-88 and Forlom. It's cool that such a cheap set contains 4 Bounty Hunters and they are really detailed. The speeder that comes with this set is good as well even though it is a little bit oversized. I do think this is a really good set but probably isn't that good of a battle pack. The Shadow Troopers Battle Pack was released in 2015 for £12 and comes with two Shadow Troopers and two Shadow Guards. I think the Shadow Troopers are quite cool and the Black Shadow Guards look better than the Royal Guards. I think I'm just going to put this one in B tier though because it isn't the best battle pack. 
The Snow Trooper Battle Pack was released in 2010 for £10 and comes with two Snow Troopers, an 8080 driver and an Imperial Officer. I think the Snow Troopers are alright. The Officer and the 8080 driver don't look that good especially compared to the updated versions. I think I'm going to put this in C tier because there's so many sets that are better. The Inferno Squad Battle Pack was released in 2019 for £13 and contains 3 Inferno Squad agents and a commander. I think the figures look really nice in this set but they could have included a helmet for the commander as well and maybe some regular blasters instead of the thud shooters. I think I'm going to put this one at A tier though because it's a really good set. This battle pack just came out this year, it costs £18 and comes with 3 snow troopers and a scout trooper. These figures look really nice and they look a lot better than the older versions. I think the speedy bike in the set is really nice as well. I think I'm going to put this set in A tier because it's a really good set. The Clone Walker Battle Pack was released in 2008 for £10 and it comes with 3 regular clone troopers, a clone gunner and some accessories for the figures. This is such a good set and it's great for army building as well. I think I'm going to put this one in A tier. The First Order Specialist Battle Pack was released in 2018. It costs £13 and comes with two executioners, a First Order Shadow Pilot and a First Order Crew Member. I did actually get this set when it first came out. I thought the figures were quite good. I wish it did have two First Order Stormtroopers instead of the Crew Member and Shuttle Pilot though. The Defense of Hoth Battle Pack was released in 2022 for £13.50 and comes with 3 Rebel Troopers and a build for the turret. I think the set is alright and it would be good for a Hoth mock. I think I'm just going to put this one in B tier. The Imperial Patrol Battle Pack was released in 2018 for £13 and comes with 2 Patrol Troopers, a Recruitment Officer and an Emigration Officer. I think the Patrol Troopers are really nice and it's cool that they made a new mold for the helmet. I don't really know about the other two figures though, they could have included 2 Storm Troopers instead. I think I'm just going to put this one in B tier. The Rebel Alliance Battle Pack was released in 2016 for £12 and comes with 2 Rebel Troopers, 2 Alliance Fighters and a Speeder. This definitely is better than the other Rebels vs Resistance Battle Packs because of the more unique characters and it's cool to get the jetpacks as well. I think I'm just going to put this one in B tier though. The Clone Troopers Battle Pack was released in 2007 for £9 It comes with the Shock Trooper, 2 regular troopers and a 327 trooper. I think the Shock Trooper looks pretty good with the red markings and the torso also looks good. LEGO has made updated versions for these figures which do look better. I think I'm just going to have to put this one in B tier. The Elite Clone Trooper and Commando Droid Battle Pack was released in 2012 for £12 and comes with an ARC Trooper, ARF Trooper and two Commando Droids. I think the ARC Trooper looks great but the ARF Trooper could use some leg printing. I think it's still a really good set so I'm just going to put this one in A tier. The Mandalorian Battle Pack was released in 2020 for £13 and comes with four Mandalorian Tribe Warriors. I think the figures are quite detailed and it's cool that they all have capes. I don't think it's the best Battle Pack though so I'm just going to put this one in B tier. The Galactic Empire Battle Pack was released in 2016 for £12 and comes with two jetpack troopers, a shock trooper and an officer. I think this is a really good battle pack and the figures are really nice. I think the officer could have been replaced with a regular stormtrooper though. The First Order Battle Pack was released in 2016 for £12 and comes with two First Order crew members, a Stormtrooper and a Heavy Assault Stormtrooper. I think the turret is nice and the Stormtroopers are good. This set could have been a lot better if it included two more Stormtroopers instead of the crew members though. I think I'm going to put this in C tier. The Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack was released in 2014 for £12 and included two regular clones, two scout troopers and comes with a swamp speeder. The minifigures are really good in this set and it's great for building an army of Kashyyyk Troopers. This one is definitely going in S tier as it's one of the best battle packs that has ever been made. The Droid Battle Pack came out in 2007 for £9 and includes four regular battle droids and three super battle droids. The super battle droids are really cool and it's nice to get more battle droids. This set is also great for building a droid army. I think I'm going to put this one in A tier. The First Order Transport Speeder Battle Pack was released in 2017 for £12 and includes two First Order Stormtroopers, a First Order Flame Trooper and a First Order Officer. I think the figures look really good and the Flame Trooper is a nice addition. I think this set would be pretty good for building a First Order army and I'm going to put this one in A tier. The Uta Pal Troopers Battle Pack was released in 2014 for £12 and includes two regular 212 Troopers and two Airborne Troopers. I think these figures look great and I think this set is really good if you want to build a clone army. This is definitely one of the best battle packs ever made and I'm just going to put this one at S tier.
The Imperial Dropship was released in 2008 for £10 and comes with 3 Stormtroopers and a Shadow Trooper. I think the Shadow Trooper looks great and the Stormtroopers also look good for the time. I think this is a great set for building an army and the Dropship is nice as well. I'm going to have to put this one in B tier just because it's not as good as the newer Dropship. The Mandalorian Battle Pack was released in 2011 and comes with 4 Mandalorian Death Watch Warriors. I think Gunmetal Grey could have worked better for the colours of the figures, the Dark Grey doesn't really work for these. I think the torso prints are good but they definitely could have used some leg printing. This would be great for building an army though. I think I'm just going to put this one in C tier because the figures aren't that good. The Clone Trooper Command Station was released in 2022 for £13.50 and comes with two regular clones and a commander. I think these figures look really nice and the Command Station is good as well. It would have been better if they included one more regular Clone Trooper though. I think it's still a good set so I'm just going to put this one in A tier. The Republic Troopers vs Sith Troopers Battle Pack was released in 2013 for £12 and comes with two Sith Troopers and two Old Republic Troopers. I think the figures look good and they come with nice accessories as well. With four figures a build and it only costing £12, I think it's a really good set and would be great for building an Old Republic army. I think I'm going to put this one in A tier. This battle pack was released in 2020 for £13 and comes with two jet troopers, a Sith trooper and a Sith fleet officer. I think the figures are pretty good and the Sith trooper is nice. I think I'm going to put this one in B tier as it's not that good of a battle pack. This set was released in 2014 for £15 and comes with two super battle droids, two regular battle droids and a bark trooper. The bark trooper is really nice and it's good to get some droids to add to your army as well. I think it's a great set and I'm going to put this one in A tier. The Rebel Trooper Battle Pack was released in 2010 for £10 and comes with two Rebel Troopers, a Rebel Officer and a Snowspeeder Pilot. I think the figures look alright, they could use some leg printing though. Overall I don't think this is that good of a set so I'm going to put this one in C tier. The Imperial Trooper Battle Pack was released in 2017 for £12 and comes with two Stormtroopers and two Death Troopers. The minifigures are great and the build is good as well. It's just a really solid battle pack and this set will be great for building an Imperial Army so I'm going to put this one in A tier. And the last one is the Imperial Troop Transport which was released in 2015 for £12 and comes with 4 Stormtroopers. I don't think the Rebel Stormtroopers look as good as the regular ones or the newer ones but this set is still great and the build is really nice. I'm going to have to put this one in A tier. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.